in the previous episode, we unlocked the bus. The bus has been repaired, and I'm so excited for that, because now we can go over to the uh, uh, the desert. Also, going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Uh, fortune teller. Yes, I can hear the spirits whispering that they're somewhat mildly perturbed. All right, that's fine. <laughs> we probably are going to spend actually very little time in the desert on this particular day, because it won't be raining there. Um, and we don't have access to their mine, but what we do have access to is the little pool of water that we need to fish out of in order to get the sandfish. So that's going to be like the main thing. So we're going to do that. Um, we're going to probably pop back over here and go mining on our own little area. Oh, I got farming leveled up too. Okay, so it may be raining in the game. I think that's a perfect opportunity to talk about how, you know, there's a, there's a phrase. There's a popular phrase. You hear people talk about it all the time. So when it rains, it pours. Now, if you've been watching in the past few episodes, you probably think you have an idea where this is going, but I, I tell you, you do not. Because as a parent, as a parent, the phrase, when it rains, it pours, is not accurate. No, no, no. It is, when it rains, it projectile vomits. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> yep. This isn't my first time having to deal with this, but you know what? I, this is the worst part about being a, a pilot, a pilot, a parent, a pilot too, you know, actually, when you think about it, if you were a pilot and you had projectile vomit, that's pretty bad. But this is now the second time this has happened. If you've been on the channel for a while, um, at least since 2022, so, you know, sometime uh, last year I would have been talking about it as well. Ooh, we got our duck eggs, nice. <laughs> we actually, we got all of our ducks. Hello, ducks. It is that, uh, <laughs> this, this is, yeah, this has happened once before, but in this case, it was, you know, my stepdaughter rather than my stepson. She, she is the same age that he was when this happened to him just a couple of years ago, <laughs> where they wake up from, you know, they're, they're asleep, right? They wake up, not feeling good. And instead of going to the bathroom, because they're like, actually, you know, I think I might throw, did I put eggs in the mayonnaise machine? I don't think I did. So being like, I might throw up. I should probably go to the bathroom and, you know, throw up in the toilet. Uh, they just sit there for a moment until it's the point of no return. And in both cases for them, they have bunk beds. Uh, he has a loft bed, whereas she has a bunk bed. So her younger sister is sleeping below her and just decides to projectile vomit off the edge <laughs> of her bed all over the floor, all over the backpacks, all over clothes and shoes and toys and chairs and stools and everything. And the wall and the nightstand. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm not joking. And it's horrible. And I cannot stand that kind of thing. It is literally the worst part about being a parent for me. Because I am a sympathy puker, and when I get a, you know, if someone starts gagging, I'm like, uh-oh, you know. If, if I smell it, I'm like, nope, can't do that. We gotta go to the uh, traveling merchant before I go anywhere. If I, if I see it or touch it or anything, it's just, it's gross. The same thing happens with changing a diaper with my, uh, with my toddler. She's just, it's, I don't, I, I can't, I really can't. If it's nasty, I can't do it. I need, I need a, an emotional support wife to, to, to help me get through that. And I, I admit, you know, I'm weak-willed on that one. Ooh, yam seeds. Mm, no, those are for the fall only. Can't get them now. Corn, jelly, poppy. We got nothing. Bait and bobber. Read this to gain ex some fishing experience. Interesting. All right, we're going to head back to the farm. Now, when this happened previously, it was my stepson in the middle of the night. And it was horrible because he he just started shouting. And it was like in the middle of the night and I happened to be in the office. And so I went into his room. I was like, what is going on? Like, you are, why are you shouting? And he was like, oh, something happened to my jaw. Well, it turns out he it had been so long since he had thrown up that he had no idea what it felt like to throw up anymore. You know, how, like you, you get the in, involuntary gagging. Well, uh, yeah. So he was in the middle of trying to explain what he meant to me. Oh, I just sold my eggs. Mm, wasn't paying attention, I think. I think I sold the, uh, 
uh, the, the duck eggs. We're going to get more. It's not a big problem. It's fine. Uh, and that's when he, he opened his mouth to continue explaining it and just full on the conjuring. The, uh, what's the, oh, what's the other one? The, um, oh, what is it called? Did you about the bus? Yeah, I'm back on the saddle. Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to the bus. Wait, do I have to buy a ticket from here? Yes. 500 gold. Jeez. Expensive. Um, the ex exorcism, whatever, whatever those movies, you know what I'm talking about. He was like in the middle of saying something and it just like flew out of his mouth all over his room and his bed is very high and it was, it was awful. <laughs> and if this disgusts you, it is but a small part of my pain that I have felt today. <laughs> so, you know, just, just remember it's good. It's good to live in a house where people aren't randomly throwing up and projectile vomiting on the, onto your carpet. Oh, and the worst part is she had she had marinara sauce. She had pasta. So that carpet has got a stain in it. I, tr I tried. We have a steam cleaner. I tried to steam clean her carpets. It's just, I don't think that's coming out. I'm going to try again tomorrow. <laughs> it's really bad. Anyways, after disgusting you and probably having you turn off for the video, uh, let's, let's, let's finish off the summer so we can get to fall. There it is, our sandfish. If I keep fishing here, it's gonna be the same thing over and over. We can't get into it because we don't have the key. What's this? I've never noticed this before. Huh, there's a button. I wonder what that is. That's very interesting. Huh, that's gotta be new. This guy is new too. Not not new as of this patch, but um, he was new the last time that I played uh, late last year when I was playing with my wife. So yeah, same same kind of thing. Uh, we got quite a lot of these to sell. We don't need them for the bundles. We're gonna go turn this one into the bundle. And then I'm gonna head to our, um, our mine. I think, I, th I think that that would be a lot better to, to go there and get a bunch of gold. I just wanted to get the sandfish done and out of the way because that's gonna finish that bundle for us. What that gives us in the bundle, I don't know. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't know, but I'm glad to get that part done. Oh, I need to go clear up my inventory before I do this too. All right, let's turn this in. Uh, specialty fish bundle, get that done. This will give us what gift? Ooh, dish of the sea. I'll take it. Um, we, so we just got the one river fish, which we'll get in the fall and the one walleye, which we'll get in the fall. So that one we could basically count as done. Man, we're, get, we're getting so close to just having all the bundles done. If I could get them done before the end of fall, that would be amazing. I don't think that's going to happen. But it's possible. It is possible for it to happen. Hey, Mario. Hey, tell me a story about farming. That's really interesting. <laughs> this one time at farm camp. Yay, level 90. Oh, we got the obsidian edge. I believe this is quite a bit better than what I've got. Uh, 30 to 45 damage. Ours is 20 to 32. Yep, so 10 crit power. But the weight, the defense on that one, though. Yeah, I'll take it. That, that's a that's a pretty big win for us. In fact, I might eat another one of my squash. Taking a bit of damage down here. And just try to get a little bit more gold. I got 17, so that will be what? Three? Um, that's, that's three more sprinklers. So this would now be four. So like, yeah, we basically have most of our little area there covered. There's, there's, I think I, I don't know. I might need like 10 total. We'll have to see. I think it's time to head back home. About to hit midnight. Um, we could take the cart, which is fine. But yeah, I, I need to do some stuff before we sleep. I feel like that was pretty productive. We got a lot of gold rolling. In fact, I should probably just immediately start getting some of it cooking. So that way we got three sprinklers that we can use uh, right in the morning, which will be really nice. Let's get rid of some of all this crap that I've got. Uh, keep those, get rid of that. I guess, I guess I'm keeping the rest. Okay, good. All right, let's see how much money we made. Ooh, we got our wine. Heck yes. Nice, so we can go turn that one in too. Oh, this is so good. And we'll get a duck egg. We got iridium sprinklers, uh, seed maker, quality fertilizer, plus one watering can and hoe proficiency. 
uh, scout critical strikes and uh, chance increased by 50%. It's really good. Well, actually, I guess that depends. It says critical strike chance increased by 50%, which means whatever my critical strike chance is now, it increases by 50%. So if it is 10, then it's increasing by another 5%, right? Or, or all attacks deal 10% more damage. Mm. Going with that one. <laughs> that may not be better overall. I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I hope I hope we're, we're choosing the right thing on that one. I can always redo it, but I feel like, yeah, I feel like the 50% chance. Like, I don't even know. Can, are we able to see the stats here? Uh, skills. I can see my skills. But I thought there was a place where you could see your stats. So specials, animals, crafting, map. Social? <laughs> no. I don't think there's anything here to actually show me what my stats are. It's a shame. I would like to know, like, exactly what my critical strike chance is. But I don't, I don't know where that's actually located. All right, let's check this. Weather report. Uh, clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect for the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. The event will take place on the beach starting between 10 and 12. Don't be late. And, ah, oh yes, I can hear the spirits whispering that they feel neutral today. All right, so we can make our fried egg. Um, and we learned how to make... Oh, I thought we learned how to make sashimi. Did we not? Stir fry, coleslaw. Do, do, do. Maybe not. Oh, no, there it is. The maki roll. Seaweed, fish, and rice. I just need some rice. I might have some. Maybe I don't. Oh my goodness, look at all of our batteries. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, give me these three, two, three. Um, I have one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's go ahead and craft. By the way, if you're curious, so I can make the iridium sprinklers, but they require iridium bars. In order to get that, we have to go into the, the dungeon in the desert. But in order to get there, we have to get to level 100 in our current mine, right? So... Um, we'll do that fairly quickly, but man, it, it costs a lot <laughs> to get to that point. So I think it'd be better if I just uh, go ahead and set these up. Bam. This here. This one there. Um, and then, yeah, we need to handle these as well. So one, two. So go here. Boom. Cool. Pick that up. All right, I'm going to finish all of my normal chores around the farm. And then we got to go to Gunther. We got to go to the uh, the community center. We got a lot of stuff to do. Okay, I got a bunch of stuff to turn into him. So we're going to put the diamond down. We're going to put... Oh, I thought I had like two more things. Apparently not. All right, that's fine. We got those done. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of stuff. There's so many stuff. I think I had like my entire inventory full of stuff <laughs> that I had to give to him. Eey. All right, we need to head up to the community center. So we can turn in the wine, we can turn in the fried egg, and we can turn in the rolls. Oh, they're in town. Oh my goodness, we got 18,000 gold too. Let's do that first. This is actually my first time where I'm like, actually, you know what? I think I might be able to get something out of this. Give me those broccoli seeds. Uh, what are you gonna have to sell? Boop. Uh, trade in books. Do I have any books to trade in? I'll trade in useful stuff for your books. Oh! So if I had, like, books, I could be like, Monster Musk. Spray this on to drown more monsters out of hiding. Or draw more monsters out of hiding. Fairy dust? Sprinkle on kegs, furnaces, and other refining equipment. It instantly receives our product. Holy crap, that's awesome. Because it takes a long time. Slime incubator, blah, blah, blah. Deluxe bait. That's actually kind of cool. You can turn those in. Anyways, buy books. What could I buy? Price catalog. You can now see the value of your items. Oh, that's kind of nifty. Um, way of the wind. You can run a little bit faster. Damn. 15,000 though. Oh, I don't know about that. Read this to gain some mining experience. I mean, I, I would die. I would do mining. Sure. Horse the book. You gain a little extra speed while riding a horse. I mean, what's, what's running a little bit faster? What does that mean? Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Way of the wind. Here we go. I can't tell the difference. 
<laughs> you learned a new power, it says. Is it under the, um... Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at figuring out where this is. Where's this supposed to be? Special items and powers, yeah. You run a little bit faster. Maybe I can tell? I don't know. I don't think I could tell. That seems kind of um, <clears throat> not worth 15,000, but it might be. That's the thing. It, I mean, it may very well be like hyper good, but I, I'd have to go and like compare side by side with my previous footage. It feels the same though. It does. It really does. How much time is that really going to save me? Going to be honest, uh, probably not a lot. Maybe. Again, I don't know. All right, let's turn this up. Uh, nope, not fall crops. Our right, animal bunder. Bun bunder? No, don't even have that. No, it's not one of these. Okay, so it's the one down below us. And I think also the uh, bulletin board. All right, what do we got here? Nope, fall foraging, winter foraging. Not that one either. Wow, I've just like whiffed two for two right now. It better be in this one. I'm pretty sure it's in this one where I've got the wine and whatnot. What's her name? Okay, chef's bundle. Yes, okay, so mocky roll. The fried egg. We just need the truffle, so we need to upgrade our barn in order to get pigs. Um, Enchantress bundle. All right, here we go, baby. Bundle complete on that one. We're going to get five gold barge. Yes, we are, baby. Oh, that feels really good. All right, I uh, can't do that one. I mean, I could I could do this and the apple. Sure, whatever. But I need three apples. I, only, I think I only have two. Need the truffle. Need that duck feather. And need those. Okay. We're, oh, we're so close. We're so close. We're like... Yeah, you know what? I'm feeling really confident in being able to finish the community center before winter. I think we can get it done. Um, and I think it's going to require us to, to do a bit of just like, ooh, there's tomorrow. Just like honest planning on how to get the fall stuff done as quickly as possible. Have any interest in farm, or interesting farm stories to tell me? Are we going to do this again? Guess not. Okay. She knew the first time I did. That second time, she knew I ain't got nothing. Okay, we didn't quite get as far in the mines as I wanted to. I still got to uh, 97, so we're, like, really close to getting to 100. Or is it 110 that we need to get to? I don't remember. It's one of those two. But getting to 100 will be a nice little uh, milestone to hit. But normally, I would do three three days in the game. Um, oh, where's our coal? Oh, I guess I... Didn't pick any up while I was in there. Normally I would do three days in the game, but I've already been interrupted twice by by uh, sick children or child, vomiting child. So, yeah, that's going to be a two-day episode, unfortunately. It happens, you know. Squid ink. Uh, squid juice sink to confuse would-be predators. I don't know what we use that for, but I'll hold on to it. No idea. Oh, I meant to go buy the... Uh, the guild shop thing to get rid of some of these extra weapons that we have. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's pop some extra stuff in there. And in there. We got eight gold bars. So we can at least make a couple of these, right? Because I have the quartz for it. Do, do, do. Down. That way we can get just a couple more sprinklers here that I don't have to worry about for the morning. I think that'd be really nice. So let's clear this one out. Pop that one in. Um, would have to hit that one. Is that worth it? I don't know. I think what we're going to do is probably hit this one here. There we go. That, that leaves like the vast majority of our farm just handling itself, which I think is ideal. Uh, let's also break this. Put it down. And put a grape in it. <laughs> Just make some normal wine. All right, how much money are we going to make? Very little. It's fine. I thought I turned to more than that, but I guess I didn't. That was the previous day. Everything's blurring together when I have to constantly stop what I'm doing and, like, leave the office and come back.